Taurus, this is your reading. Taurus, thank you for coming to the Onyx Moon Tarot. This is for entertainment purposes only. Ascendant Masters, Archangels, Holy Spirit Guides, please give your collective with Taurus placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, a clear, accurate, honest, and precise reading. Taurus, timing is fluid. This could be something that's already happened to you. This could be something that's happened to you already. This could be something that you could go through in the future. I could be pulling on your energy. I could be pulling on the energy of someone you're thinking about. I could be pulling on the energy of someone that is in your energy from the past that you have an etheric tie to. Okay, Taurus. Someone or you, take the energy, flip it, how it works. There could be someone clinging on to your, someone codependent clinging in onto your energy. They're, they don't want to move on, don't want to change, but the relationship is very stagnant. This could be an Aquarius. There is something that they are stuck in from their past that they just cannot get over from. They don't want to heal. They don't think that they need healing. They cannot heal. It's something that they obsess over. It just keeps role playing over and over and over again in their mind that they just cannot get over. Yet they um, try to fill themselves up with doing other things. They try to numb with other things, other people. And that causes your relationship to be in a stagnant, not being able to move forward. This could be someone that you have known for quite some time. This, you could be childhood friends. You could have children together. Um, could be an old friend of the family. Could be someone that you have known since childhood. Uh, you could have a lot of memories together. This is someone that is very, very indecisive. You could, you might not be able to make a decision of whether or not to walk away. You have doubts. They're my person, they're not my person. They fill you with doubt. You think one minute, this is my person. This is where I want to spend the rest of my life. They, they feel like home, but you know something. And when you're not with them, all it is is doubt. They're a very restless energy. They're very restless. They might not sleep a lot. They could fill you with a restless energy. They're wishy-washy. They can't, they couldn't make a decision out of a paper bag. They say one thing, they do the other, or they say something and they do nothing. You They could, you want someone who is there for you. You cannot continuously pour into everyone's cup and not be replenished. That's not how life works. You're not Jesus. You don't walk on water. You can't be turning everybody's water into wine. It, it, it just doesn't. That's not, that's not life. Sorry. Sorry, Taurus. You're not Jesus. Okay, this person comes to you so you can replenish them, and then where are you? Depleted. There's no filling you back up. What? They can give you a couple of laughs, maybe, maybe even good sex, but when it comes right down to the I have a need, that's not being met. The emotional need. That's not being met. So you cannot set yourself on fire to keep everybody else warm. Taurus needs to be warm before they can warm anybody else. And that needs to, you need to realize that. It's all well and good to be generous and you have a fabulous heart. You have a fabulous, wonderful heart. But you need to have your stability, and Taurus is all about stability. You need to have the emotional stability before you can 
be helping everybody else be stable, and especially within this relationship. This person needs to get themselves straight. You can't make them straight. You cannot love them through this. They have to fix this. This has nothing. This was before you. So they need to fix this. This has nothing to do with you. You can't fix this. They have to fix this. It's not because of you. This is their issue. This issue can have this this could have been long before you. This could have been because little Sally Mae gave two Valentines in kindergarten to Billy instead of them, and they received zero. I mean, this could, who knows what this issue is, but this is not because of you. Do I think they have emotions? Yes, I do think they have emotions. I think they just do not share their emotions. And yet you keep reaching out. With hope that it's going to change. The only thing that's going to change is how you deal with it. You have to change the paradigm. When the knock, knock, knock comes or the ding on your phone comes, you have to change how you deal with that. And I'm not saying go cold. I'm not saying ghost. I'm not saying I think ghosting is a bitch-ass pussy move. Sorry. It's just my opinion, but it's a bitch-ass pussy move. You have to change the paradigm. I'm not saying cause a fight. I'm not saying be ugly. But when someone takes away the essence of you, that person can't be around you. No one is allowed to abuse us. And you might not have thought of this as abuse, but when they aren't, when they don't cherish you, and I'm not even talking romance, when they don't cherish you, they don't deserve you. Whether it is as a friend, whether it is a family, whether it is as a lover. If you're not cherished, they don't deserve you. Life is too short to be anything but appreciated. You can have hope, absolutely have hope. Hope that they're going to get their act together. Because a Taurus is a wonderful thing to have. You do, look at this, the sun. There is hope for this. Success, optimism. It's the best card to get. So you have to change the paradigm. because they're manipulative. They're very manipulative. I think they lack the... They may not see the forest because they're in the trees. Whatever their pain is, they're within it. And it's much easier to follow their habits because that's comfort for them. Their habits of whatever it is that they do fill the void by numbing with other people, with substances, with being a workaholic, whatever it is that they numb that pain with, always done it, it works, gonna continue. For you to have the success, you need to cha change the paradigm. Because this person is manipulative and they don't, I don't think they think that they need to heal. What you don't see coming. I said Aquarius, we have a King of Swords reversed. This person, again, is manipulative. I have two cards of manipulation. They can be abusive with behaviors, with words, and extremely controlling. I'm not saying physically abusive, but God forbid, if this person is physically abusive, you leave, you run. If you even think that this person is physically abusive or you fear that they would be, leave. There's no, there's no maybe, oh, it was only one time. No, no. 
I'm forgiving because it only happened one time. No. Growing up in a home that there was domestic violence, there is absolutely no forgiveness. There is no excuse. No, absolutely not. It's not changing the paradigm. It's over. It's done. You don't know this person. If, if this person could actually hurt you. But this person is manipulative. They know the game because they wrote the game on manipulation. They could use very harsh words. Turn it around on you. And they are controlling. Emotionally. Manipulative. Double standards. They talk a good game. They talk a real good game. But the actions, the actions belie the words. I can tell you I'm a millionaire. I'm, I'm a bajillionaire. Check my bank balance. Check my spending habits. You know, talk is one thing. Walking that talk is something else. There could be some gossip around this person. There could be some gossip around you and this person. The gossip, if you're not giving this person their way, they could be speaking not so good about you. They could smile to you and then say something badly about you if you're on the outs with them. This person, they, they, they play to win. You're going to need your strength. You're going to need to stand in your power and in your integrity. And learn that you do not have to control the situation. You just have to control yourself and stand in your power. Because you will have justice. Truth is going to come out. You're going to get what you deserve. It may not be this person. What is for you will not pass you by. And if the universe is keeping you apart, source, universe, God, whatever it is that you believe in, if, it is, if, they're, if it's keeping you apart, know that there is a reason. Because there may be, once you empty the space of what's not for you, what is for you comes. You could have been being juggled. This person could have been juggling you. This person could have problems with finances. They could be putting work above you, trying to fit you in between you and their job because they might be having money problems. They could also have been juggling you with other people. Let's see what they have to say or if you have something to say to them. relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life so you take that for what it is okay this can represent the death card it's the island time wellness deck that I'm using there the relationship is over okay the relationship could be over when the death card comes upright for me that means that the relationship is over for whatever relationship you're in maybe it's a job Maybe it's a love relationship. It's over for that cycle. You're transitioning into something better. So the relationship is over in this cycle. Can you change the paradigm and make it come into something better? If you change the paradigm, possibly. Change how you react. Not continuously pour into something that's not appreciating you. Then it says no second chances. Maybe, maybe you're done. Maybe you are done grow and transform your life. Taurus, I'm going to leave it here. If you could like, share, subscribe, or you could follow me on my Facebook page at The Onyx Moon. 
Thank you for being here.